Hi, Sajin. This is Julie Cooper responding to your post, which was excellently written. After reading your post, I wished it was my post. I really like how you actually broke down each of the individual arguments that the discussion board prompt had given us, and um, I learned a lot from your post, actually. I've mentioned in the class that I'm not a clinical psychologist, so although I come up against theories like these, they don't, they, they haven't thus far impacted my work. My work is very integrated, but I haven't necessarily thought about how I'm integrating until this class, if you can believe it. So I work with primarily with adults who are working with children who have histories of trauma. Um, and I find that in the Christian community, and especially in, um, well, I don't know, certain communities, certain Christian communities are pretty resistant to anything that they think is psychology, right? We know that. I do a lot of international work, and I find that internationally, that's even more so. Um, so when I present tra trauma-informed care training, if I'm not integrating scripture in every step of the training, there are Christians who, are, who have immediately put up defenses that this is of the world, and this is not, not actually biblical. Um, so it, it's interesting because I really find myself aligning with humanism, even though I'm a Christian. I would love to call myself a Christian humanist, but I, there's, there's pushback against that, like where you know Christians are trying to create their own term. Maybe we are, so maybe we need to come up with another term. Um, and it's not that I would discount sin. I, you know, I, I, I want to say nothing has separated us from the love of Christ. Well, sin did. Sin separated us from God. And it's, it's absolutely through faith in Christ that we come back. Because my, I do so much work with people and children who have trauma, they, they come with such a as opposed to, say, working with um, folks who are coming in with narcissistic backgrounds, which maybe they have trauma, but most people I work with have experienced trauma, ongoing abuse, neglect, assault, extreme community violence, war violence. They're, they already come in with such a core of shame and feelings of there's something wrong with me. Like these things have happened to me inherently because there's something wrong with me. That focusing on the potential um, the ability for self-actualization, um, the ability for healing and moving beyond and forward um, is exactly where I, I feel like my interventions need to lie. So that sounds like humanism to me, but I, I definitely don't discount sin. It's not necessarily playing a part of the training that I'm doing. Um, I'm coming in very extremely compassionate, extremely supportive, and I love that you mentioned, right, that uh, science is reaching the same conclusions as the Bible. Absolutely. There, there's almost nothing that I can't show in scriptures. You know, we, we talk about things like safety and the importance of your words. And I can point out 10 proverbs that discuss that very principle that, that God already knew. Um, so, so integration for me happens on that level. I haven't necessarily... I don't necessarily feel like I land in a theory of psychology, but I'm exploring that. And your post helped me with that. So thank you again.